Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Uh, so today my topic of discussion is how to find kth node from the end of a single link list. So here if you see one example, so this is a link list. So I have to find the kth element from the behind. So in this example, it is the third element from behind. This is 55. So this answer we have to find out and how to do that we will see next. So I have defined a link list here and it has almost like six nodes 11, 22, 33, 44, 55 and 66 are the numbers. I have marked their index position also. This is the first element, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. And this is the start of the link list or the head node and this is the last node. And from behind if we mark then this is the first node from behind, then this is the second, this is the third and this is fourth and this is fifth and this is the sixth node from behind. So now we have to find the third node from behind here. So how we can find that? So if you take a look here, the third node from behind is actually means the fourth node from front, right? So in that same logic, if you see here, the second node from behind is actually the fifth node from the beginning. That means if we can derive a formula here, then we can see the length of the linked list is six here. And if we subtract the node, like the kth node, that number from that, and if we add a plus one there, then we can find the position from the beginning. So you can see here the kth node from last actually is the length of the link list minus k plus one node from start. We can take two example here. Third node from last is actually six minus three plus one or fourth node from start. Second node from the last, this one is actually six minus two plus one that result is 5 means the fifth node from start. So this is now very easy, right? So you can traverse the link list and then if you go to fourth node of the from the start, that means you got your desired result that is the third node from last. But how you will find length of a link list? So it is not an array, right? If you do an array dot length, you can easily get the length of that array but for link list only what you get is head then you have to do what you have to traverse the whole link list then you have to place one counter then you have to increase the counter in each and every rotation and then what at the end whatever the value will be the counter that will be the length of the link list then you have to apply this formula and you have to know like uh, the third node from last actually what it meant from the beginning that is the fourth node from the start then you have to traverse from here then you have to reach here and then you have to give the result as the fourth node which is actually the third node from last so that approach if you see here so if I have to find the third node from here first we have to traverse six time then you have to again traverse four time like in 6 plus 4, 10 rotation we have to do to find the result. So now we will see if any better approach is there or not for this. Okay, so before moving to the next approach, uh, I will first discuss about what is the two pointer approach. So for the linked list problems or a uh, few other problems, we often uh, take the approach of two pointers. So what is the two pointer approach that is uh, we will define two pointers pointer A and pointer B and then we will move them together. So how we will do this so we will first define them as a pointer A and pointer B then we will move them together. So here actually in the first time we move with them from 1 to 2 together and then 2 to 3 also we are moving them together and here if you see we are moving them 3 to 4 together. So if I now say that what is the position of pointer A that is now pointing to 
uh, this node 4 and for the pointer B also it is pointing to this node 4. Now uh, we can add some variety here also. So maybe the starting of this pointer A I can start from here and pointer B I can start from here. Then if we move something then we can solve some kind of problems that we will uh, see maybe in later videos or else what we can do is the speed also I can change means uh, for one rotation I can move the pointer two steps and this one I can keep as one steps only so by adding that variation also some kind of linguist problem we can solve so that also we can see in later videos so this is called two pointer approach it is very much helpful and uh, some of its flavor we will apply in our next uh, this this solution only we will see how we can apply this one okay now we will see how we can use this two pointer approach to solve this problem so here i have defined a link list which has seven nodes and i have to find the second node from the last that means the result is six so what i can do is this pointer a i can define from here that means two steps I can make it forward then we can start the pointer from here so I am making this pointer a two step forward and then I am starting both the pointer pointer a and pointer b and they are going one step ahead together In the second rotation it will go like this from here and this will go from here to here in the third rotation it will go from 5 to 6 and it will come from third, 3 to 4 then in the fourth rotation it will go from 6 to 7 and it will going from 4 to 5 then in the fifth rotation this pointer a is going from 7 to null as it is approaching null so as the next value for this is null that time whatever is the position of pointer b that will be our result so how it is actually giving me the result so if you see here as I moved the pointer A two step forward that time the distance if you calculate the remaining distance like this and this is same so that's why we are directly this pointer B is directly going to this desired position when this pointer is null so by applying two pointer approach we got this result and it is actually how it is uh, helping us so if you see here to move the pointer two step forward rotation number is two and then to get the result here as we are moving this together that means we will count it as a single that means one two three four five so five rotation we did to get this result so total five plus two seven rotation so we saved some time from the previous one both are taking maybe o and time but we saved some time like that so this is actually the actual approach to solve the uh, like kth node from the last i will uh, this uh, the programming part of these things i will give you in the description box as the github link so first try it yourself then you just see the programming part thank you for watching this